Ezra, chapter 3. And the seventh month comes, and the sons of Israel are in the cities, and the people are gathered as one man to Jerusalem. And Jeshua, son of Josedach, rises, and his brothers the priests, and Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, and his brothers. And they build the altar of the God of Israel, to cause to ascend on it burnt offerings, as it is written in the law of Moses, the man of God. And they established the altar on its bases, because of the fear on them of the peoples of the lands. And he causes burnt offerings to ascend on it to Yahweh, burnt offerings for the morning and for the evening. And they make the celebration of the shelters, as it is written, and the burnt offering of the day daily, in number, according to the ordinance, the matter of a day in its day. And after this a continual burnt offering, and for new moons, and for all the appointed times of Yahweh that are sanctified, and for every one who is willingly offering a willing offering to Yahweh. From the first day of the seventh month they have begun to cause burnt offerings to ascend to Yahweh, and the temple of Yahweh has not been founded. And they give money to hewers and to craftsmen, and food and drink and oil to Zidonians and to Tyrians, to bring in cedar trees from Lebanon to the Sea of Joppa, according to the permission of Cyrus, king of Persia, concerning them. And in the second year of their coming to the house of God, to Jerusalem in the second month, began Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, and Jeshua, son of Josedach, and the remnant of their brothers, the priests and the Levites, and all those coming from the captivity to Jerusalem. And they appoint the Levites from a son of twenty years and upward, to overlook the work of the house of Yahweh. And Jeshua stands, and his sons, and his brothers, Cadmiel and his sons, sons of Judah together, to overlook those doing the work in the house of God, the sons of Henadad, and their sons, and their brothers, the Levites. And those building have founded the temple of Yahweh, and they appoint the priests, clothed with trumpets, and the Levites, sons of Asaph, with cymbals, to praise Yahweh, by means of the instruments of David, king of Israel. And they respond in praising and in giving thanks to Yahweh, for he is good, for his kindness is for all time over Israel. And all the people have shouted with a great shout in giving praise to Yahweh, because the house of Yahweh has been founded. And many of the priests and the Levites and the heads of the fathers, the aged men who had seen the first house, in this house being founded before their eyes, are weeping with a loud voice, and many with a shout in joy lifting up the voice. And many of the priests and the Levites, and the heads of the fathers, the aged men who had seen the first house, in this house being founded before their eyes, are weeping with a loud voice, and many with a shout in joy lifting up the voice. And the people are not discerning the noise of the shout of joy from the noise of the weeping of the people. For the people are shouting with a great shout, and the noise has been heard to a distance.